Where has your family been most supportive in your career development? That's a good question. I, I would tell you they've been supportive at virtually every stage, you know, and that it's always been about trying to find the thing that, you know, is a, is a good connection of not only what makes me happy, but what continues to engage and challenge me. And, and I would tell you that I've seen it at the first stage out of college or when I moved to San Francisco, uh, when I decided to go to law school, um, and, and when I decided to leave practicing law to, to go into recruiting. I mean, at each stage, uh, every single one of them has been supportive uh, of the decision. Personally, professionally, they've done their diligence. They've drilled down and made sure that the, the points and the rationale behind it make sense, but they've been supportive at every turn. Tell me more about the questions they asked you and how they went about that process. I think it, really it came down to understanding whether or not it was something that was motivated by uh, a reason that that didn't necessarily, that, that wasn't grounded in a, a logical next step. What, was it based on fear? Was it, was it motivated by money? Was it something that wasn't inherent to some personal satisfaction? And tell me more about that. You know, I think uh, most specifically, if you look at uh, leaving the practice of law to go into recruiting, you know, so much effort and time and money went into getting that degree and actually practicing law for the period of time that I did. It was uh, it was relentless. It, it was engaging. I thought, it, you know, I certainly enjoyed it, but I was ready to leave it. I didn't get I didn't get a corresponding reward out of it. Mm -hmm given the amount of effort and time that I put into it. Mm -hmm. And I think that particular thought resonated with them and, and made you know everyone that I spoke to feel comfortable in the idea that, hey, look, he's leaving the practice to do something totally different. 